are at uh, Clark Water Deep Well number 51. Um, this particular site, we've got a generator that's running 24 7, 365 here, and uh, we install the monitoring devices to monitor the battery voltage and the fuel level in the fuel tanks, as well as uh, dry contact outputs on the generator, as there is no Modbus connection here, so we can monitor if the generator is on or off. So here at the deep well site for Clark Water, we've installed our ultrasonic fuel level sensor. We've got a DC voltmeter, which is hooked up to the uh, generator battery here. And all of this is connected back to the SPX Plus, which is in the, uh, the telemetry panel, which we'll take a look at now. So here at the telemetry panel is where all the, the uh, communications equipment is. And we've installed our SPX Plus here, uh, DIN rail mounted. We've got the ultrasonic fuel level sensor, uh, temperature humidity sensor all connected up here. A dry contact running back to the generator to check its on or off status. Our DC volt sensor is also plugged in here. It's also then connected up to the Ethernet network and we grounded the system correctly here for the main grounding of the control panel. So here we are at the uh, Clark Water Lagoon Water Treatment Facility and we'll take a look at the monitoring equipment that AKCP have installed at this location. This is the Cummins Genset that they've got at the Water Treatment Facility. It's running an IntelliLite AMF20 control panel from Comap. Uh, the control panel has got the Modbus communications module and we've hooked that up then to our SPX Plus which is mounted inside here. So the SPX Plus connects to the uh, Modbus of the Comap panel and then uh, we also have a temperature sensor inside here for monitoring the temperature and humidity inside of the control panel and we have uh, a cable going out to an external antenna on our cellular data modem so in the event the communications is down here we can still send out alerts. This is the uh, Lily Hill site here inside of uh, Clark and this is where they have a small data center inside of this shelter here managing the uh, network communications for the various deep wells and pumping stations. So let's go inside and take a look at what AKCP have done to monitor this location. So here we are now inside of the Lily Hill uh, data center shelter where we've got an APC cabinet which has been fixed up with an SP2 Plus thin rail mounted inside We've got uh, AKCP swing handle cabinet locks on the front and rear so we can control access. And we've also got the thermal map sensor on the front here so we can monitor the temperature and humidity at the top, middle and bottom of the cabinet. 